everybody, my name is Shrey Ninzi, and as you can see, I suffer from acne! But I don't really suffer from it as much as I used to, and I'm so excited that my skin is clearing up. I don't even know what my new intro should be. Let me know down below. Like, hey guys, my name is Shwain Ninzi, and I test foundation on acne prone sensitive skin. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. Oh my gosh, do you guys like my new background? If you guys haven't seen my last video, the makeup declutter and room declutter clean with me room redo video, definitely check it out because I redid my room. You guys can see how I set it all up and everything and my amazing boyfriend helped me to set it all up. So I'm super excited to have this as my new background. I think it just looks really bright and fun and I love it a lot. So today I'm actually going to be testing two new things. One thing being a foundation. Obviously you guys know how I love to test out these foundations for you guys. Um, I actually don't have the actual bottle of it, but I got a sample at Sephora because I was like, oh, let's test out a sample here. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Cover 24 Hour foundation. I've seen that this is like a super full coverage foundation. Um, I got mine in the shade 1.2 and I'm super excited to try it for you guys. Um, it took me a bit to figure out what shade would work um, in the store, but they gave it to me in this little container here. Um, so I have it here and then if I like it, I'll, I'll purchase the full size, but I wanted to do a little sample just to see because I do test out a lot of different foundations for you guys. If you want me to test anything else, just let me know in the comment section below. And this isn't too new, but I've had it for a while. I ordered it the day it got released. This is the Morphe Jeffree Star palette and I've been obsessed with it. It has a huge mirror and then here are the colors. They're showing up pretty true to color in the camera so those are what the shades look like super pretty it's a super fun palette i took this with me to california i had a wedding out there um, and i used some of these colors and i'm just so excited to play around with it more um, i'm gonna be doing a fun look here today i'm super excited so i'm actually gonna start out with my eyeshadow today so let me know what you guys think of this lighting. I know it's kind of bright, so I'm kind of messing around with the lighting and everything like that. So let me know what you think. It's been so crazy how there have been so many palettes being released recently. There's three volumes of Anastasia Norvina palettes, and then Anastasia just released a new collaboration with Carly Bible. There are just so many palettes out right now. I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed and I want them all, honestly. So I've got the um, eyeshadow primer on and I like using the Tarte Shape Tape on my eyelids as a base and just blend that out and then I'll set that with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm gonna go ahead and put some tape on my eyes and make sure you put the tape on the back of your hands so it doesn't like pull on your eyes because sometimes that can make it a little too sticky. So I thought the easiest thing to do would be to do one eye off of camera and then do the other eye on camera so I would know what I'm doing instead of just flopping around trying to figure out and fumbling. You know what I'm saying. So the first thing I'm doing is taking a Sigma E25 and I'm going with the color Self Made, which is this beautiful pink color. And this is going to go in my crease, kind of creating a little bit of a wing. And blending this into the tape so that we get that nice sharp edge. And then next, taking the um, Morphe Jeffree Star brushes. So this is the JS5. I'm taking the color Mr. Diva. And I'm putting that on top here and I'm just blending that out. And then I'm taking the um, JS10 and I'm taking a little bit of the Huda Beauty concealer here. I love this concealer for um, cutting the crease and using this as a good base. And I'm going to cut out my eyelid here. And then I'm gonna go in with 
the JS11 and the color Calabasas. I'm going to put this on the outside here, this deep burgundy color. And then going in with a Sigma E20, I'm going to take the color Custom Rims. And this is going to go on the middle of my eyelid. And then on the inner third, I'm going to take the Sigma E21 and the color <laughs> 2, which is the Tis Top Row, is welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Yes, the color two, T-O. This is going in my inner third. Now I'm also making sure to blend all these colors since I have three colors on my lids. I'm going back and forth, kind of blending all of those different shades. Super easy, hopefully, I don't know if these two eyes match but I mean it looks pretty good and then like I said taking off that tackiness off the back of your hand um, helps so it doesn't hurt your eye and then I'm just going in here and if there's any glitter or anything like that which there is there's a lot of fallout from that custom rims shade but what do you guys think of this eyeshadow look still playing around and practicing and doing eyeshadow and everything so let's go ahead and do the foundation all right let's do the foundation so like i said i got mine in a sample but it's still the same product sigma actually sent over to me this new brush set this is in um this is for like breast cancer awareness month and all of these are pink comes with a little brush bag um one of their 3d hd brushes and then one of their sponges so i'll be using these in the video to test out this foundation like how cute is this set so i'll have a link for this down below all the sigma links that i have are affiliate links so if you guys shop with my links thank you so so much and if you don't want to that's okay but um, i do make a little bit of a commission off of those links so if you guys want to use them thank you but i'm gonna go ahead and um take this stuff out and i'll be right back I also wanted to show you guys that this is a different color than their regular um, complexion sponge. So here's what they both look like and it definitely grows a lot with um, the water. So here's the original one and then here's the pink one for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. I'm super excited to try this out and here is the brush. Like I said, this is the um, 3D HD Kabuki brush and it has like this really cool um, angle to it so this is a really fun brush I really like it for like under the eye and like for looks like this so this will really help um, with my foundation so I'm super excited to talk about that <laughs> so here is the shade of the foundation that I picked and this definitely seemed kind of liquidy I'm gonna take it on this brush here so I can get it out of the container put it on my face it feels like, I don't know, silicone or something. That makes sense. So hopefully, and you guys know how the Sephora lighting is. Sometimes you can't really tell if <laughs> stuff's going to be the right shade or not. Just because the lighting in there is so bright. But hopefully this works. And it looks matte for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit more and put it on my forehead here. Oh, a lot gets picked up on the brush. Jeez. <laughs> it was on there. It's not emphasizing dryness. It's really matte, but it also has like a little bit of a sheen to it. Like it doesn't look matte in like a cakey way. So there it is on the brush side. So let's go ahead and put some on the other side and blend it out with the sponge. Yeah, I don't know how to really describe the texture of this foundation. It feels silicone-y, but I don't know. And there isn't a lot on here. I'm kind of just... <laughs> Yeah, 
the sponge side is definitely a little bit harder to blend. See, it kind of just like is staying here. It's not blending out very well. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Huda Beauty concealer in the color Meringue 04N. That's the color that I use um, all the time. I just really love this concealer. It's my favorite. I'm going to go ahead and set it with the La Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And then I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Superstay Powder that I love so, so much. It looks really white on camera, but in person it matches really well. But I am pleasantly surprised with how this looks. It does not look cakey or anything. Wow. This foundation looks really Wow, this foundation looks really good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and continue blending my eyeshadow underneath here. So I'll go back in with the color Calabasas and the JS11. Put that under my eyes. And I think I'm gonna use um, a little bit of Custom Rims and kind of put that in the center under here. What do you guys think of the eyeshadow? I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, here is my completed look. I had a lot of fun because I did some extra things here. I actually have bottom lashes on, which I had to put on individually, which I've never done before and it actually took some time, but I enjoyed just kind of like playing with it a little bit. I have the Dolly Wink eyelashes on here in number seven vivid pop so here's what they look like here but um i took the ones that are here on this side but if you can see here is what the eyelashes look like in the packaging and then you can put them on individually um i actually got these from yes style which i'll be doing a huge asian cosmetic haul with them i'm really excited to um share that with you guys here soon so i've never worn bottom lashes and i think it's such a fun look it just makes it look so dramatic and i actually have um my siren lashes um i had to cut off the end so i have those on the outside and then i have the ardell double wispies on all over the rest of my eye can you see my camera's been struggling they're the double wispies and i have those on top so i have two sets of eyelashes on my eyes right now and i'm kind of obsessed I have on the new Sigma liquid lipsticks. These are like, it's like a moussey texture when you put it on, but it's definitely drying down here. I swatched them for you guys on Instagram stories. This one is in the color Behold, which is this really pretty nude pink. It's definitely lighter on my lips. Um, if you guys can see, a little sticky. Yeah, this is my first time wearing them, so yeah, they sent over all of their shades here. Look at them all. Oh my gosh, they're all super, super pretty. I'm so excited to put those in more videos. So that's kind of what I have, and I have my usual bronzer blush highlight, and I always list that down below. I'm going to go ahead and set my foundation, or yeah, set my face here with the Gerard Cosmetics Setting Spray. And I did notice that the foundation like has been settling in my lines. So when I do this, it kind of makes a little bit of a crease there. But so far, I mean, the foundation looks really good. I played around with, you know, my eyelashes and stuff for quite a while. So the time um, is currently 122. So it's a little bit later in the day. And I'm excited to see how this foundation wears. I mean, it is so pretty. I, I think my makeup today just turned out really really nice i'm just excited to see how this wears i'm excited about my eyeshadow i just had a lot of fun playing with makeup i haven't done that in a while just messing around and playing in a stress-free way so what do you guys think and yeah let's see how this foundation wears currently at target right now I had to get my favorite creamer it's so freaking good my other target didn't have so i had to go to a different target i've been trying to find areas where there aren't people so i can vlog without feeling judged you know what i'm saying so here is the makeup and everything it's 
currently 2.23 ish in that range. I'm obsessed with these bottom lashes. I don't know if I can ever go back to not wearing bottom lashes. <laughs> They're super, super fun. So I'm in Target right now. And yeah, let's have a look around here. I saw these. I thought these were so cool for like Halloween, but they're black plants. Like I would wear, I would have that for any time, really, honestly. Um, I live in Ohio and it's over 90 degrees, which is super unusual for the fall time. So I'm looking at all this stuff and I'm like, cozy. No, I'm boiling hot right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh my gosh, I love home decor. I'm so excited super excited let's see what else I love looking at like the sales section stuff I wonder if there's anything else I need anything else oh my gosh look at all the Halloween candy my goodness what else what else I always look to see if there's any like sales or anything the bark thins are so good. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this chocolate. So good. What else? But anyway. Hopefully I don't get caught filming. So that's where I am right now. And then I'm going to be going to Walmart to grab some other things. I'm hungry. Oh. Oh. Is that really in my skin right now? Or is the skin filter on? I can't tell because my skin looks amazing right now. I've been doing a lot of extractions on myself. I am a licensed esthetician, so I do it properly. And I've gotten rid of a lot of the bumps um, that needed to get extracted, but here's my skin outside. It looks great. 233, got my goods, got my creamer. I'll show it to you guys. Um, this is the best one. This is the Natural Bliss Almond Milk um, Caramel Creamer. I love it so, so much. It's so delicious and it's amazing. So I love that. And I'm gonna head to Walmart now. So let's go. So all Walmart actually has a great gluten-free selection. <gasps> one dollar off at register. What? <gasps> These are so good. They're like green free like everything free um if you can see here and they don't hurt my stomach so these are great so i'll get these oh my gosh a dollar off maybe i'll get two because my mom eats these as well i love these super good i wish walmart at least ours does not have baskets it's so annoying <laughs> maybe i'll get something for lunch what should i get for lunch Hmm. Oh my goodness, look at all this new stuff. I need to get some burritos. I accidentally got the wrong burritos. I get the gluten-free ones. Super good, so I'll get those. Oh my gosh, White Castle veggie sliders. <laughs> Hilarious. Hello. The time is currently 5.52. I have a little, like a couple pustules down here that are really itching like I really want to scratch this it kind of hurts and I'm getting one down here a little bit turn down the brightness so you guys can see a little bit better but yeah right here this one really itches I really want to pop it but wow this foundation looks amazing I'm getting a little bit oily around my nose if you can see that and I forgot I had makeup on and I went like this and <laughs> so I'm gonna try and fix that but anyway but otherwise I mean whoa this foundation looks amazing except for like this I want to pick it so bad because it really really itches um, but I'm actually editing the video right now you want to say hello I'm gonna say hello can you see me Okay. So we have a problem. We've been dealing with his fish. One died and then the other one died and it's a sad story. Died of Camelanus 
bookworm. <laughs> And it was his birthday present, so we've been tackling that. So that's what he was coming in to tell me about. He's like, we gotta throw away all the plants. So I was trying to be, because I bought those plants for him. I'm about to head out, Chief. Okay, well, I'm gonna look on Amazon, okay? All right, that's what's happening right now. Editing, doing all the stuff. What do you guys think of my little intro with the little stars and things? I've been kind of playing around with editing a little bit. Um, if you guys know, I went to school for video production and editing and all that kind of stuff, and I know I could be doing a lot more um, with the skills that I know, but I've been lazy. So I'm trying to get back into that, kind of adding some more things, so hopefully my videos will get better, but anyway, that's that. So my dad makes the best gluten-free wings. So we got how many flavors here? We got, we got regular, mm -hmm. then we have... Spicy. Spicy. And then, then we, have we got super spicy. Super stuff. spicy coming. Although the spicy is not spicy enough. Oh. We got a little fries. We got we got some we got some Asian cabbage over here. We got some zucchini. Mmm. Oh, these are so good. Gluten free. Yeah, it's not spicy at all. So here's my makeup. Right now. It's 626. It's been another hour. Let's see how this lip color looks after I eat. But this lip color is looking amazing so far, I think. Um, it doesn't feel like gross or anything, so I'm excited. The time is currently 9.30, and I'm going to go ahead and end the review here because I want to pop some of these so bad. I know I shouldn't, but I got a couple pustules here and a couple up there. But you guys... Wow, does this foundation look amazing? And my eyelashes and everything held up, even the liquid lipstick. Like, I had wings, as you guys saw. Like, it doesn't even look cakey. I don't have that weird, like, line that you get with liquid lipsticks. This is probably the best liquid lipstick I've ever tried. And I'm not even saying that because I got sent them in PR. These are really good and I'm super picky about my liquid lipsticks so definitely check check them out I'll leave them linked down below I hope you guys enjoyed this foundation wear test because oh my gosh I am pleasantly surprised thank you guys so much for watching and as always leave comments down below letting me know what videos you guys want me to film what do you guys want to see on my channel i definitely want to do some other videos besides foundation reviews and hopefully i can do those for you guys but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to follow me on instagram at shrink and yeah i hope you guys have a great day bye